Uh, Alec Rowley, pleased to be followed by Mark Ruskell. Presiding officer, can I begin by also thanking Alexander Stewart for bringing forward this motion. I should say um, that both Mark Ruskell and myself have put forward similar motions. We did so because each of us supports the fantastic work and achievements of the Central Safe Drive Group, and specifically the Safe Drive Stay Alive Roadshow. I would like to place on record my appreciation for the time given by staff from uh, the Police Scotland, the Scottish Ambulance Service, the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, the NHS, and all the volunteers who contribute to the campaign and the event which aims to inform and educate young people across Forth Valley, and in doing so, to reduce the number of road traffic accidents involving young people, and so to ensure that fewer young people are killed or left with life-changing injuries. I had the absolute privilege of attending a Safe Drive Stay Alive event in February at the McRobert Arts Centre in Stirling. The event was planned and delivered with the intention of achieving maximum engagement from the young people in the audience. Although, as a councillor, I had been involved previously in getting the funding for Safe Drive Stay Alive in Fife, I had never actually, presiding officer, attended such an event before. Um, and it started with a DJ and a, a lot of music, uh, a big fireman bouncing up and down on the stage, and lots of people dancing, uh, and eventually including myself as part of the audience. Uh, and, and, and it was a real good feel, uh, and I could see why that would have been so attractive. Is there to, any footage of this? To young people, I hope not. <laughs> but I could see why that, that was so attractive. It was a great event, it was, it was lively, it was, it was really, really good. And then as I sat down, um, to, for the actual show to begin, uh, a young girl sitting next to me passed me a box of handkerchiefs and I took out a hanky and the box went along and I thought, right, OK. But I have to say that I was then caught up in what was a very powerful delivery of a hard-hitting message. At times, the auditorium was in complete silence. You could not fail to be moved by the stories being told or the real-life contributions from survivors Jennifer Howey and David Galloway, who experienced life-changing injuries as young people, or, tragically, of those family members who had lost loved ones and were there to tell the story. Each of them having to come to terms with the shocking and cruel reality that too often follows on from a few moments of carelessness either behind the wheel or as a passenger in a car. And the evidence suggests that the approach taken by Central Safe Drive Group is having a real impact. As Alexander said, some 40,000 young people have attended the annual event in the last 11 years. In the years that the project has been running, road deaths in the 16 to 25 age group have dropped from an average of 11 between 2006 and 2008 to an astonishing zero count in 2014-15. This is a fantastic achievement and it recognises all the hard work that has been put in by all these volunteers. There was a concern around funding and I have, presiding officer, written to the three councils in the area all I have to say have come back to me very positively, stating their commitment to future funding. So I think that's important. I've also written to the Cabinet Secretaries for Justice and Health uh, and hope to hear back from them, because I think we need to have a coordination to ensure that, that this group of hard workers are not running about trying to get funding. I understand that the eventually the last bit of funding was put in place by uh, an organisation in England who put a grant in. So, I would want once again to thank everybody that's involved. There seems to be a commitment there from the local authorities. If we can get a similar commitment, then I think we can work through the safety partnership. All of us can work together to highlight the issues, but ensure we secure future funding for what is an amazing show. And I congratulate everyone involved. Thank you, Mr Rowley.